Hi there everyone, it's Amanda here, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do Distress Oxide Blending on Craft Cardstock and if you haven't tried that yet, you really need to because it's amazing how these inks work on darker cardstock. I'm also going to be using these mix and match stencils and stamp sets, although I won't use the stamp sets so much. And also I have die cuts for the sentiments, something to blend my Distress Oxide and also something to protect my surface. Now we're going to start by using one of the stencils and later I will explain a bit more. So now that all the blending is done, I'm going to die cut the sentiments and I'm going to do that three times. That's because I want to stack them and that way they will stand out from the background a bit more. And here's what I wanted to use the stamp sets that coordinate with these stencils. 
but I'm only going to be using that for one of the cards. I'm going to do some heat embossing and for the other card I'm only going to be using the sentiment and then I will die cut some hearts and stars and that will finish up my cards. Also, if you don't have this stamp set but you have a white gel pen, you can do some drawings inside the squares and it's going to look really similar to what I'm doing. So that's all for today, I hope you liked it, thank you so much for watching and remember that all the supplies I use are always listed below the video and also you will find a link to a visual supply list in the first comment. Also let me remind you that anytime you buy something through my links I get a small commission at no cost to you that really helps me keeping my blog and channel running. So Thank you for that and in the next screen you will find a few more videos you might be interested in watching and also you can become a subscriber or you can visit my blog there. Thank you again and have a great day. Bye!